Well, it is now 7.30. Clock just takes 7.30, so we'll start uh, the two-meter portion of Rock City Net. Net meets here every Sunday evening at 7.30 p.m. It goes for approximately one hour. The purpose of the net is... The purpose of the net is to build friendship and dedication between all amateur radio operators. Um, we do handle traffic to buy, sell, or trade anything pertaining to amateur radio. So if you have something that uh, you're looking to get rid of or upgrade or whatever, um, feel free to throw it up onto the net. I'm sure that there's somebody that might be interested in it. Um, your net control tonight is uh, Andrew. KD2 AWT, and I am located currently in Bergen on my uh, brand new antenna, by the way. Uh, in order to uh, check into the net, uh, please give my call sign, then unkey your mic and give your call sign name and location. I'll first take check ins from anyone. Um, this mobile portable, uh, mobile or portable stations, please call KD2AWT. KD2AWT? W2GT, Doug in Union Springs, on a handheld tonight. W2AWT, WA2ZNC in a mobile. KD2AWT. KK4IAY, Verna, and Clifton Springs. KD2AWT. W2JTF, Jeff, North Chile. Um, okay, Nat would like to acknowledge W2GT, WA2ZNC, Kilo Kilo 4, India Alpha Yankee, and Whiskey 2, Juliet Tango Fox. Uh, do we have any other mobile or portable stations? Please call KD2AWT. All right, we'll open it up to anyone, anywhere, anyone, anywhere looking to check in the Rock City Net. Please call KD2AWT. KD2AWT. Copy K2MTH, Mark Ogden, New York. Uh, check in only, no messages or traffic. KD2AWT. November 2, India Tango November. Just checking in. KD2AWT. Alpha Charlie 2, a Romeo Lima, John in Arundaquite. WB2KAO, Tim in Greece, good evening, Andrew. 82AWT. A2WDF, Bill and Wayland, good evening, Andrew. KD2AWT. Please copy KC2GTO, Paul and Webster. KD2AWT. Don, also in Webster. All right, Don, you were covered up by uh, somebody else's uh, traffic. I believe it's K2WEK I got. But, uh, Don, if you could go again, I uh, missed it. Uh, there were a few doubling stations in there, so if you could try again. And then we'll continue on. Sure, Andrew. KD2CTZ, Don in Webster. Thanks for picking me up. KD2 AWT. This is N2 NNF Don in Macedon. All right, the net would the net would like to acknowledge. Excuse me. Uh, K2 MTH, no traffic. N2 ITN, no traffic. AC2 RL, 
WB2KO, K2WDF, K2WEK, KD2CTZ, and November 2, November, November Fox. Any other stations for the Roxy Net tonight, please call KD2AWT. C2AWT, Kilo Delta 2 Echo Alpha Quebec, uh, Bob in North Syracuse, no traffic. KD2AWT. K2ZX Portable. How you doing, Andrew? KD2AWT. K2NAX. Jim. In Henrietta. KD2AWT. Please copy Kilo Charlie 2, Golf, Tango Asker, Paul, and Webster. KD2AWT. W3MJH Mike in Rochester. KD2AWT and 2 TOX Rick in Rochester. Just a check in. KD2AWT. This is Kilo Charlie 2 Tango Charlie Mike. Jay and Phelps just checking in. Out. Right there, Net would like to acknowledge um, K. Or okay, hold on, gotta get my bearings here for a second. Figure out where I left off. Uh, K2 EAQ November 2. I missed the rest of the call sign. If you could come back, um, K2 ZX, K2 NAX, KC2 GTO, W3MJH. November 2, TOX, no traffic. KC2, CTZ, no traffic. Uh, could the uh, November 2 station go again? I'm sorry, I missed your uh, call sign. This is WB2KAO. Uh, uh, the station in Plainville, New York. Uh, would you please check in again? November 2, Yankee Lima Papa, thank you. Um, just needed clarification, sorry about that, but thank you for coming back. Um, all right, uh, any other check-ins before we go to the top of the list here? Please call KD2AWT. Kilo Delta 2, Juliet Zulu Papa, no traffic. KD2AWT. KD2, DK, Bob Leroy, uh, just one for the count, Andrew. That would like to acknowledge uh, Kilo Delta 2, Juliet, Zulu, Papa, and KD2, Delta Kilo. Um, hopefully I got everything right there. Anybody that uh, heard anything incorrect, please uh, recheck and correct me. But other than that, I'm going to leave a little space here, and then we'll go to the top list. This is KD2 AWT. All right. Um, the very top list we have Doug W two G T. How is uh, how is your time at the Rot? I, I'm assuming you went to Rochester Hamfest. That's probably what we're going to talk about tonight mostly. Um, I did not make it. It's unfortunate. I just wasn't uh, schedule wasn't open. My Saturdays are pretty much booked um, up until December. But um, go ahead, Doug. Tell us uh, what your experiences were with the Rochester Hamfest, and if not. Uh, Whatever else you'd like to say, over to you, W2GT, KD2AWT. Nope, Andrew, um, sorry. <laughs> Good evening, everybody, everybody on the net. Um, yeah, I did not make the uh, Rochester Ham Fest I had uh, yesterday. I spent, um, actually with Larry, W2LV, we went, and, uh, went to his house and kind of reworked a lot of his wire antennas. Had a um, had a lot of fun doing that. Um, 
We do have over the next, uh, looking at the calendar, though, I just wanted to remind everybody, the next three weeks, my my Saturdays are, are open for, and uh, then some. we got uh, this this coming week, I'm sure Joe will touch on the uh, this Saturday, the uh, the uh, Rock City Net Breakfast in Spencerport. The 17th, we're going to be back up at Gannett Hill. Uh, anybody that wants to come up there is uh, welcome. we got a bigger pavilion this time. This time we do have electricity. It's pavilion number five, I believe, is what we're in this time around. Pavilion number five, but uh, there's only a few of them, so you'll find us. It, uh, anybody who was there last year, it's uh, the one we were at like three times last summer. So, um, nice big pavilion right back up to the woods and right next to the right next to the uh, bathhouses, so it's kind of a neat spot. Um, and then the weekend after that is field day. I'm planning on being at uh, Webster Park for the Friday for to help with uh, with setup. So it's a uh, busy radioactive month, so I look forward to spending time with everybody. You got quite a list, Andrew. I'll get out of here uh, back to net control. I'll be listening for the rest of the net. Um, KD2AWT, W2GT, quick. All right, thanks, Doug. W2GT will break with you. Next on the list, WA2ZNC. Good evening and welcome to the Rock City Net. Out of the mobile. Next on list, we have KK4 India Alpha Yankee. Good evening. Welcome to the net. KK4 IAY, Verna and Clifton Springs, and it's really fun co coming to meet you all on the Rock City net. Um, hope to get back into it, and we'll be listening. This is KK4 IAY, clear and listening. Okay, very good. Thanks for checking in. Really appreciate it. Um, we'll break with UKK4IAY um, in Clifton Springs, I believe you said. And next on the list, we have uh, Jeff, W2JTF in North Chile. How am I sounding, Jeff? Andrew, you sounded loud and clear, full quieting. Sounds good. Now I don't hear any... Uh any noise in the background <laughs> coming from you anymore. So the yeah, antenna's working good. Um, so as far as, well, first of all, I apologize for jumping in early. I, I think I jumped in when you were calling for uh, HTs in, the, in mobile, so I apologize for that. <clears throat> um, I didn't make it to the ham fest uh, because uh, Joe, KC2JYD, and myself, and, K and Glenn, K2AWA, uh, represented the hobby out at... Uh, out at the um, the Freedom Freedom Weekend, I think they called it, at the Firing Pin, and uh, we set up uh, some remote stations out there and uh, kind of showed the hobby off uh, to uh, a bunch of people. So it was uh, it was a pretty good time. We had a nice day for it and uh, had a lot of interest, and uh, it was uh, it was pretty cool to be able to to show people what we can do. So, anyways, Andrew, I'll turn it back to you. You got a long list ahead of you. We'll talk to you later. W two J T F. W-R-2-A-H-L, repeater. All right, very good, Jeff. You know, it's funny you mentioned that. Um, my friend and I, who's who's actually with me right now, uh, just got back from there. We, got, we went there with 30 minutes to spare and uh, spent, probably went through 100 rounds on the range, so that was pretty good been a while and I got to break my uh, 43 in a little bit more but uh, that, that's really cool you know it's funny I walked in there today and one of my friends at work there was like oh you should have been th been there I was thinking of you the entire time and I was like yeah I know those guys so that's very cool that you guys did that I wish I could have made it to that too I was missing a ton of stuff on Saturday I could have went to the if I if only I had that day free I could have went to the ham fest um and seeing you guys in the afternoon, but 
it's uh it's an investment in my future that I'm going through, so it's it's giving up one year of ham fest isn't too too much, you know. It isn't it isn't too bad, um, for what I'm getting, so all right, uh, we'll break with you, W2JTF. We have two stations that uh, request no traffic, but we will acknowledge them, K2MTH in November 2, India Tango, November. And next on the list, we have AC2RL. Good evening. Welcome to the next. Good evening, Andrew. Uh, this is AC2RL, John in Arundaquoit. Uh Yeah, I had a great time at the Ham Fest. It was, uh, if I can... Speak plainly, uh, better than I expected after last year. Um, I saw a lot of friends from Rock City Net, from RDXA, and from RARA, and uh, found myself a couple deals, picked up a little scope and a couple power supplies. Um, I think that's a great place to hold it, and if they can find some more parking next year, and uh, it'll be great. My only gripe was that there was no food trucks. Um, I got there at 7.30, and I could sure use a cup of coffee. I've uh, been doing the museum ship weekend. Uh, I've, I worked 30 museum ships uh, this weekend, and that's about it for me. So back to you, Andrew. Uh, this is AC2RL. John and around it quite clear. AC2RL, KD2AWT. I think I saw something like that on the Facebook group. I'm not sure if that was you, um, but uh, I guess it Food trucks were supposed to show up, but they didn't. All right, we'll break with you, AC2RL. Next on the list, we have Tim, uh, WB2KAO. Welcome, and uh, good evening. Oh, good evening, Andrew. Uh, KD2AWT in the net, WB2KAO. Good evening to uh, to all, and uh, I had a good time at the Ham Fest, uh, and uh, had a chance to uh, spend some time with uh, the RDXA guys, and uh, it was uh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, there was uh, there was a food vendor uh, uh, set up around ten o'clock or so, and. Uh, there was no uh, there was no breakfast uh, vendor, but there was uh, the uh, vendor who uh, set up around 10 o'clock. I guess it was pretty difficult uh, uh, because of the uh, of uh, of uh, the uh, Fairport uh, festival to get uh, food vendors. Uh, unfortunately, uh, logistics out of their out of their control. Uh, the uh, uh, field uh, that they had hoped to have mowed was too wet and uh, did not get a chance to have that uh, mowed. I guess uh, uh, some uh, some folks had to had to be turned away because of lack of uh, parking. Uh, it's tough when logistics are uh, out of your control. I want to commend the uh, the uh, Hamfest committee. The Ra Ra Hamfest Committee, the people that put that together, it was a lot of work, and uh, they did an outstanding job. And uh, I, for one, had an excellent time. That is a uh, that is a very nice venue. I guess they had people uh, parked up and down the road, but there's uh, just so much uh, parking that you can do there too. I guess so. All things considered. It turned out well, and uh, mark your calendars for uh, August 19th for the uh, RRA and the Barnard uh, Fire Department Ham Fest at the Barnard Carnival Grounds on Saturday, August 19th. That's also Lighthouse Weekend. KD2AWT in the net. Thank you very much, WB2KAO. You know, I might have that one to look forward to. I'm not sure. I might... I might actually not have class that week. That would be a blessing to at least make one ham fest. But um, all right, Tim. Well, thank you. And I'm also, by the way, I'm also glad to to see that they're they're a little more spaced apart this year. And uh, some people aren't too keen on two two Rochester ham fest, but I think it's a great thing. I 
I love being able to, that's only my opinion, but I love being able to go to two. Just maybe not so back-to-back like they were, which I'm glad to see they're more spaced out. So thank you, Tim. WB2KAO will break with you. Always great to hear you in here. Um, next on the list, we have K2WDF. Welcome and uh, good evening to you. KDT, yeah. KD2, AWT in the Rock City Net, K2WDF. Uh, good evening, Andrew. Good evening, uh, all. Uh, I didn't make it to the ham fest. Uh, I had to put my toils into the nonstop maintenance of grass. It was the first day available to me to even, even if I had plans to go, I'd have had to cancel it. It was such a nice day for mowing because it got way behind me. It was knee deep and what a nightmare. So I'll leave that at, at that. And you got a big group, so I'll say uh, greetings and seven threes to everybody. Uh, take care. K2, WDF. Back to you, Andrew. All right. Thank you, Bill. Next on the list, we have K2, WEK. Good evening. Uh, K2, AWT. This is K2, WEK. Good evening, Andrew, and everybody on the net. Um, yeah, I also made it out to the uh, ham fest yesterday with uh, KC2, GTO. Had a good time. It was uh, a better... Uh, uh, a fest than I expected. Uh, it was a nice location, um, but uh, I guess everybody already covered the, the problems, just the parking and uh, lack of a food vendor who did show up about 10 o'clock, but that was about the time we were leaving anyways, I guess. Um, a lot of uh, interesting items out there. Saw quite a few things that uh, were of interest, although I thought the prices on some of the uh, items were a little bit high, but I didn't try bargaining too much with anybody, so <laughs> maybe they would have uh, bar- uh, you know, budged on those a little bit possibly. But Jim and just uh, spent just a few dollars on, on there anyway. So it was overall good time, and uh, at least the weather cooperated yesterday. So that's a plus, I guess. So with that, we'll turn it back to you, uh, 82 awt k 2 All right, very good. Thank you. We'll break with you. Um, next on the list, we have KD2CTZ. Um, good evening and welcome to that. Good evening, Andrew, and everyone on the net. Uh, I did make it to uh, the Ham Fest and uh, bought a few things, one that would probably interest some folks here. I picked up a uh, Motorola um, Radius uh, GM300 uh, repeater system. So it's got two radios in it. I haven't had a chance to tear it apart yet and take a look and see what bands they are, but I believe they said they were ones that could be uh, running the ham range, but I have to uh, disassemble to verify, I believe. Back to you. Ah, okay. Funny. As soon as you said Motorola, you got my attention. Um, Those are good. The GM300s work well for a repeater because they have good isolation. They're very well shielded. The Max Track, not so much. Max Track makes a horrible repeater when you link the two together, but... um, it's likely, I will tell you this, uh, things started, the band splits started getting a little more complicated as they got newer, but you're still in the, um, you're still in the yearly range where the band splits were relatively simple, and if it's a UHF set of radios, they will go into the hand band without any problem, little to no modification needed. Sometimes it's just a software trick. Same thing goes for VHF, so just some information for you. Could, I couldn't tell you what band they are unless uh, usually what I do, the first thing I do is run them through the programming software, figure it out. I could lock, look up the model number, but it's actually so so much easier for me just to plug them into the old DOS machine and figure out what frequency range they're in. So congratulations on that. I hope you have a lot of fun with it. Well, I don't have the programming software or the cable yet, but uh, I will shortly. So, anyhow, back to you, and uh, have a great night, everyone. Do you have a rib? Negative. I just have the box. You mean the rib box? You have the rib box, or you or, or you don't? You just 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 wondering because it's actually very simple to make those cables. No, I don't have anything at all for it. I picked up the, it's a nice little bookshelf-style repeater where it has a two radios power supply and uh, a little box on it that allows you to uh, 
switch in and out in repeater mode and the connections inside of it. Um, but uh, I don't have any cables, any antennas, anything else for it at all, so uh, or software or anything else. So I'm kind of starting from ground zero. Okay, very good. Like I said, uh, congrats on the purchase and uh, have fun with it. it. It'll be interesting to see what you do with it. Okay, well, um, we'll break with you. Next on the list, we have November 2, November, November Fox. Good evening. Welcome to the net. Good evening, everyone. I just, uh, you know, we made to the ham fest. Had a nice time. Uh, I think we got there pretty early and uh, got a couple items and uh, got got back out. Um, big list tonight. I'll uh, turn it back to Nat. This is N2 N N. All right. Thank you. We'll break with you next on the list. We have KD2 EAQ. Good evening. Welcome to the Nat. Hey, uh, good evening, Andrew and the group, uh, KD2EAQ, Bob in North Syracuse. Uh, don't have a lot. Um, I didn't make the ham fest. Uh, uh, I've been uh, busy doing some other things. I've, uh, I'm trying to put a chain link fence up. My daughter got all at my daughter's place. She uh, was given all the parts, the fence, the poles, the, the top railing, the whole works, and uh, I got picked to put it up, I guess, so... I've been busy doing that, and Saturday was a beautiful day, so I couldn't, uh, uh, I had to get to that, so uh, I'm about halfway done. Uh, I, I, hopefully I'll make the Cortland Hand Fest, that's uh, uh, June 10th, and uh, see what's going to go on. Uh, that's usually a pretty good one. Uh, that's about it. Uh, thanks for doing the net day, Andrew. KD2EAQ, back to you. What, uh, when is... Cortland, what day of the week? I'm assuming Saturday, right? Yeah, Cortland is uh, June 10th um, at the fairgrounds in Cortland. Uh, uh, I believe it's exit 12 off 81 South. Uh, to take a left uh, when you get to the uh, 281 South, or South or North. But uh, you got to take a left, and it's uh, Probably, uh, I don't know, three quarters of a mile down there, and there's, I think it's Fisher Road or something like that. You take a left, and it'll take you right to the ham fest pretty much. But that's pretty good. Um, other than that, I guess the Rags Ham Fest in Syracuse, that's on uh, in July 9th, on July 9th. That's, that's a little smaller, but that's pretty good as well. Anyway, thanks, Andrew. KD2EAQ, back to you. All right, no problem. KD2 EAQ, KD2 AWT. Probably won't make it to that one, unfortunately. Like I mentioned before, my Saturdays are pretty booked up this year, but um, but I have been to Cortland a few times. It's a nice area. It'd be nice to attend the the Ham Fest there. But uh, all right, uh, we'll break with you. Shoot, I lost my spot. November 2, Yankee, Lima, Papa, is that the next one? I think it is. I think if I skipped anyone, please speak up. But I think the next one here I have is November 2, Yankee, Lima, Lima Papa. Good evening. Welcome to that. I'll have to hit them all. We'll see if that ever happens. But 
usually the two that I always make are the Rochester Ham Fest and the Batavia Ham Fest. But I'm not going to make either of those this year. But I'll, I'll be able to explore some others. So thank you, Tim. I really appreciate that. I'll have to write that down. Um, next on the list, we have uh, K2ZX. Welcome, Joe. How, how are you doing? Yeah, KD2ADWT in the Rock City and K2ZX on the portable here. I'm doing well. Didn't make it to the Hamfest. I had to work. <clears throat> I work one one Saturday a month, and I got so much stuff going on. I had to pick that. I had to pick that one because I got the breakfast next week. I got the Gannett Hill. I got uh, something to do with my wife. So that's how that. I, mean, I hope everything went well. It sounded like it, it, it was pretty good. So that's good. Uh, the next breakfast will be at Slayton Place. Out in Spencerport, off of 259 there, uh, this Saturday at 9 o'clock, and uh, should be good. Looks like a nice site. I've never been there, but uh, W2JTF has. He said it's like they got a good room back there and and so forth. So in the process of doing that, I want to thank Jeff for helping me out with that. And um, did a little six meters uh, today, and, you know, six meters has been pretty good. The HF bands have been so-so. And uh, what else? Hmm. I think that's about it, man. Back to work tomorrow, and uh, hopefully we'll see you guys out uh, out in the west side uh, coming up uh, this Saturday. Uh, back to net control, K2 Z or K2 A W T. This is K2 Z X. K2 Z X, K2 A W T. Very good. Thank you for the traffic, and uh, yeah, it's a shame when something conflicts like that. I, you weren't the only one, Joe. I missed it, too, and I guess Doug didn't go. Jeff didn't go. He had uh, another um, thing he had set up. So I guess there are quite a few people that, that missed it. It's, uh, there's only so many Saturdays in the summer, so I guess, you know, you you, you lose some, you win some. All right, uh Next on the list, K2, November Alpha X-Ray. Good evening. Welcome to the NAC. KD2 AWT, K2 NAX. Uh, Jim here, <clears throat> Juliet, India, Mike. And, uh, yeah, it was great to see everyone at the Hamfest. Thought it was a nice uh, venue. Of course, that's only, uh, like, four miles from my place, so, <laughs> you know, over in Pittsburgh. And so that makes it kind of quick to get there. Stepped in at the... Uh, at the RDXA tent to say hi and uh, saw some friends. So a couple bargains there, got a new rotor controller, so a uh, new solder station. Those solder stations were pretty pretty nice, but no no new radios. And uh, looking forward to field day coming up. So um, the end of the month, it ought to be uh, well attended, we hope. And um, I assume the contest is happening next weekend. I haven't heard anybody talk about it, but the VHF contest uh, goes off. I think it's on uh, starting the evening of June 10th at uh, 6 o'clock. So um, I know a number of guys will be on, and uh, hopefully uh, we'll get some uh, <clears throat> grits, some new grits. K2NAX, back to net. Good. K2NAX. This is KD2AWT. Next on the list, KC2GTO. Good evening. Welcome to the net. Yeah, thanks, Andrew, and everyone in the net. Good to hear you guys in there. Uh, did make Hamfest. We had a great time. Uh, nice venue. I guess we already talked about the issues. So I'm sure they'll work on that for next year and looking forward to the next one in August. And uh, real quick, just to start getting the word out. I know everybody's talking about field day. Uh, the XARC guys will also be out in Webster this year. Uh, so I know the RDXA guys are in Webster at Webster Park, and if you're heading out to work with them or check them out, please be sure to stop out and check out the XARC guys because they'll be out at the uh, Webster Rec Center, which is over by Xerox. So uh, hopefully you'll be able to check out both sites. And with that, I'll give it back to you, Andrew. Uh, you, you, it's too bad you missed it because they had a ton of Motorola commercial gear. That's what I was thinking of you. Uh, but that's all I got. KC2 GTO, back over to the net. Gosh, I heard that. I heard that from somebody else. What kind of stuff did they have? Did you make a note? 
just lots and lots of stuff that said Motorola, Andrew. I can't tell if it's, it looked like analog mostly, but uh, I'm, not, I'm not a Motorola expert, but I saw lots of it and thought of you. Oh, uh, that's too bad. Maybe it'll be like that next year. All right, well, um, well, uh, I guess we'll um, look forward to it next year. I'm glad, like I said, I'm glad they're spaced apart. Speaking of Motorola, I just I finally got 440 in the shack, and it's P25, and I have yet to actually make a P25 contact on it yet. So if there's anybody that has uh, UHF P25 capability and like me to meet, would like to meet me over on the Highland Hospital repeater, I'd greatly appreciate it after the net. Um, okay, I guess next on the list we have, I think it's, uh, oh my gosh, I lost my spot again. Um, I think it's W3MGH. Is it? I don't know. We'll give it a shot. Well, we'll go for it. Good evening, everybody. Uh, I did make it to the uh, to the ham fest this weekend. Uh, I consider myself to be fairly successful. I purchased a few things that I wanted, a few things that I needed, and a few things that I hadn't even thought of. I just consider those impulse buys. Uh, but I think I came away with a decent little collection. I picked up a, uh, Andrew, you'd be interested in, it's a CDM 1250 uh, set up for six meters, which was a kind of, a, a, of, a, of an interesting pickup. I didn't expect it. I got it right on coming in the door, but uh, since I've been getting into six meter lately, that was, a, that was a cute pickup for not a lot of money. So. Um, the only thing that I had problem that I had with the whole venue, and that was probably my uh, my ability to observe, was that I didn't realize that all the that the vendors, and there were a lot of was mainly was mainly PX, uh, or over on the other side of the road. So I, I ended up hitting those them towards the end because uh, I was went through most of the ham fest wondering where they were. And there they were, although they, they did pretty good by me too, so I, I won't say that I didn't uh, didn't get anything from them. So I'm, I was pretty happy with the whole thing. Uh, back to that control. Back to you, Andrew. All right, very good. And I, I was right. I just was second-guessing myself. The CDM 1250, um, six meters, very good. That's a nice radio. I had one here for two meters, but I uh, I sold it to uh, another ham locally in in the Wayne County area. Um, just uh, just was trying to upgrade the uh, the all the gear to P25, and that was part of the process. So, all right, we'll break with UW3MJH. Then we have two no traffic stations, November two. Tango Oscar X-Ray and KD2 CTZ, both no traffic. And after them, next on the list, we have KD2 JZP, Juliet Zulu Papa. Good evening. All right, nothing heard. Next on the list, KD2DK. Good evening. Recheck. Go ahead with the recheck. W3MJH again. A quick question. How does this microphone sound? It's a uh, Motorola that I happen to, to pick up a desk mic. Um, I can definitely hear the echo in your room, but what kind of radio is it, and what's the desk mic? I found a CDM 1250, and this is one of those, I don't even know the model of it. It's uh, one of those little L-shaped things. Yeah, I've got a couple of them, probably actually three to be exact. I'm looking at it at one right now. They're nice. I like that you can, um, you don't have to have it up to your face. That's what I like. You can kind of sit back and relax. 
in order to get a little bit closer. Okay, well, thanks. W3MJH, clear. Yeah, no problem. You sound good. Uh, do we have any other check-ins or rechecks for Annette? Please call KD2AWT. Whiskey 3, Oscar, Alpha, Bravo. W3OAB recognized. Go ahead and good evening to you, John. Yeah, very good. As was mentioned, um, June 10th through 12th is going to be the VHF contest. It's the, the ARRL VHF sweepstakes. It begins at 1800 UTC on Saturday and runs through 0259 UTC Monday. And that's going to be uh, the, uh, the VHF contest coming up next weekend. So I'll be, I'm probably going to miss the Rock City breakfast. I'm going to be down in in Prattsburg, Naples area, in uh, Steuben County at the N2PA site working the contest. So we look forward to hearing all the VHFers on the air. And if you uh, only have FM, get on 146.550. And if you have... Uh, if you have 440 FM, get on 444.000 Simplex. It's all done on Simplex. So check in on the uh, on the FM bands if you uh, even if you don't have sideband and and uh, horizontally polarized beams. There's still contesting going on. So uh, everybody get on the air next weekend. W3 OAB back to net. Uh, recheck with a correction. Uh, simplex frequency on uh, on 440 is uh, 446.0, uh, 446.0. Thank you. Do I be 2 kao Yeah, that's um, that's calling, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah that that's where all the contesters. You know, that's what all the co contest activity will be either on 446.0 or 446.1. Uh, John inadvertently said 444.0, but that isn't uh, that isn't correct. That's a that's a repeater output. So uh, uh, 446.0 is what he meant to say. Okay, very good. Yeah, I was a little distracted here. The pager was going off for the fire department, but it's um it's not something that that really involves me. It's uh, EMS, so we can. Uh, I can disregard that call in particular. Um, okay, thank you. thanks, Tim. Uh, any other check-ins from Rock City Net? We'll make this the last call. It seems that things have slowed down. Please call KD2AWT. WR2AHL, repeater. And net control, WA2ZNC, on a right microphone with the right radio this time. Go ahead. Okay, Andrew. Uh, uh, I did make the ham thrust. Uh, I didn't go across the street. I stayed right at the uh, uh, on the dirt track. Uh, I did pretty good. It uh, surprised me that the most of the items that I did sell were the were the most expensive stuff that I had on the table. So, uh, but everybody did great buying from me because. Uh, uh, I had a, uh, apparently I had too much money, uh, marked on the tickets and, uh, they made me an offer I couldn't refuse. <laughs> and so, uh, my brother showed up. He's not a ham, but, uh, we chatted, uh, sitting on the tailgate of my, uh, SUV. Uh, when I, about 11 o'clock, I decided to uh, leave, uh, <laughs> and, um, uh, when I put the key in the ignition and turned it, all I got was a gur from the motor. So uh, I killed my battery. But uh, fortunately, being uh, parked right next to the uh, DX club's tent, there were, uh, I don't know, more than one, more than three, I think, guys that had uh, boosters, batteries in their 
car, so it was no problem getting me started and getting on the way. I did not leave my table, so I did not uh, buy anything. Uh, but I did sell a few items, so I was happy there. Uh, and uh, hopefully uh, I'll make the next uh, ham fest at uh, Greece, uh, Barnard, and uh, hopefully I'll get on the on uh, uh, on the tenth to uh, get into the contest. KD two A W T W A two Z N C. W A two Z N C. This is KD two A W T. Very good. All right. Uh, last call for check-ins or rechecks. Please call KD two A W T. KD two A W T. KD two D K B in Rochester. Uh, no real traffic. KD two A W T. This is KD two I Z Q. Uh, no traffic. Uh, just monitoring. Andrew, this is Casey Tuya Nelson. No traffic. VHS, and uh, good to hear you, and Mitch, I didn't know where you went. Uh, all right, um, we'll leave it open for any other no traffic stations we want to check in real quick here, and then we'll shut her down. Recheck. Go ahead. 33 MJH, uh, at K2, uh, ZMC, I believe it is. Benny, um, if you still got that, uh, uh, that ICOM microphone I was looking at, uh, if you're going to, uh, to breakfast with us next Saturday, could you bring it along? Uh, Mike, I believe I st still have it. I know enough people looked at it, but didn't take it. And, uh, no, I will not be making the, uh, breakfast, but I'll hang on to it, uh, maybe when we see you, uh, at the uh, museum or the next, someplace next, or meet. Okay, that sounds like a good deal. W3MJH clear. Andrew? Go ahead. Did, did you make a list that you can send me because some of these went through so fast I didn't get a chance to write anything to uh, uh, catch it. Yeah, no problem, Mitch. I probably won't be able to get it to you tonight, but I can get it to you tomorrow. Okay, Roger. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Um, got it right here written on my uh, envelope. So, All right. Uh, well... We'll go ahead and close the two-meter portion of Rock City Net. Thanks to all that's checked in. It's great. Um, I'd like to thank all 27 stations that checked in tonight. Quite a big, uh, quite a big group, 27 stations. Um, I'd like to wish everybody a great week ahead. Um, don't forget to check in at the 80-meter portion of Rock City Net on uh, 75 meters on 3.826. That is every Wednesday night at 8 p.m. Um, I'd like to thank uh, Mike W2HYP for the maintenance and uh, use of this repeater and would like to wish all a great week ahead. I will now turn the repeater back to normal operation. 73 is KD2AWT.